today is the first day of our new vegetarian meal weekly plan. We're going to do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday to start and then eventually hopefully go to a seven day week of vegetarian food. This is going to be include, inclu including eggs as well as seafood. Okay. We also have Lily here who's helping us today in the kitchen. Say hi Lily. Hi. And then we have Charlie the video photographer. Say hi Charlie. Hi. Alright, so today's meal is actually a beef cooked in herb milk. However, we're going to replace the beef with jackfruit. Jackfruit is a what they call a substitution for red meat such as chicken, pork, and things like that. The texture is very similar to pork and it's kind of stringy like that. So we're instead of using the um, eye of round steak, we're going to do the jackfruit. Alright, so this is a good way to look at a recipe and think how can I make that vegetarian. And you'll notice when I cook, I don't always stick with the recipe as it calls for. I think that you limit yourself when you do that. So you need to be very flexible with, able, with you know, modifying recipes. So the first thing you do is add a little extra virgin olive oil. This is always better to use than butter, it's better for you. Alright, now the second thing we're going to do is add, the recipe says one cup of onion. Okay? Also says one cup of shallots, but I do not have shallots, so I'm just going to double up on my onion. We're just going to saute this around for about 30 minutes until it browns. The next thing we're going to need is it calls for a six eye of round steak, a half inch thick. We're going to actually replace that with the jackfruit here, so I'm going to kind of use the equivalent. After that, we're going to add two cups of low-fat milk. I actually don't cook with low-fat milk. However, they say it reduces calories, is better for you, less fat. I prefer cooking with whole milk. So I'm actually saving myself on fat by using the jackfruit. So I feel like it's okay I use the whole milk. Alright. So, after we add the two cups of milk, we're then going to add one tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves. We're actually growing a garden in our backyard, so this is fresh picked thyme. We also have one, oh, I'm sorry, half a tablespoon of fresh rosemary leaves. Again, that's picked from our fresh garden. We do three basil leaves, which I did, bay leaves, which I did not have, but I soon will, hopefully. And then add one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and then three cups of cooked brown rice. Brown rice is a better alternative to white rice as it adds more fiber to your meal. Um, white rice is going to be part of the grain, whereas brown rice actually keeps the outer coating, which has more fiber in it. So it's always a good replacement if your recipe calls for white rice to substitute it for brown rice. Also, if you have recipes that are heavy vegetable, you can always add more to it if you want more flavor. I'm just going to stick to what we have since we're doing the basis of the jackfruit. I don't feel like I have to add more vegetables to it. However, if you were going to do the six eye round of steak, half inch thick, you might want to add some more vegetables to your meal. Alright, so after we saw this for about three minutes, till it's translucent, lightly brown, it says to add the eye of brown, which of course we're going to add the jackfruit instead. So we're just going to do this for a few more seconds. It's looking really good. Is it smelling good? Smelling good in here? Huh, Charlie? Yeah, it smells real good. It smells like onions. It does. It's kind of making my tears a little water. My eyes a little teary. All right, this recipe also comes with the nutrition profile. The nutrition profile obviously is going to be greatly reduced because we're replacing the red meat with vegetables. So the original recipe says the serving size is one and a half steaks and a half a cup of sauce, a half a cup of rice. Calories are about 477. Probably reduce that if I was going to take a guess, maybe down to 400. Alright, that's about good. So now, we're going to take and add the jackfruit. The recipe says to cook the eye around for two hours. However, because 
we're using a vegetable, we don't have to cook low on simmer because vegetable is going to cook much faster than red meat. So we're just going to cook this for maybe 20 minutes. So we add this. All right. It says to saute for about two minutes before adding the other ingredients. Toss this around for a minute. Now you can serve this with a side of broccoli. You can serve this maybe with some. What, Charlie, what would you think to serve this with? You tell me. Peas. Peas, that's a good one. Lily, what would you eat this with? Uh, carrots. Carrots, look at that. That's New a great. Carrots, though. New Peas carrots. and carrots. That would be great. New carrots. Good suggestion, girls. New carrots. Oh, she says little carrots. I agree, little carrots. Alright, so get orange. a close up on that, Charlie. It's looking good. How does it smell, girls? I can't smell, smell like it. Smells like onions and smell. chicken. Alright, like now we're going to slowly pour the milk. Do you want to do it? Ah, uh, Lily, this is a, probably a little bit over your, your ability for help. What can I do? Oh, that looks great. Now it looks like cereal. It sure does. <laughs> it looks like cereal. It, it looks like rice. Special K. All right, so Lily, if you want to grab the thyme, which is right there, go ahead and grab that. All right, so Lily's going to help us with the addition of the herbs. Go ahead and put the herbs right here. Go ahead and add the herbs. All right, good job. All right, put the bay leaves right there. Go ahead and grab the three bay leaves. Yeah. Go ahead and put the bay leaves in there. Go ahead and put them in there. Thank you. Good job. Let them go. All right. Good job, Lily. Thank you for your help. All right. Now we're going to add a little bit of black pepper. I'll do the black pepper. All right. Come do the black pepper. Hmm. That might be good. You're a good black pepper adder. That's perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Now we're going to do a little sprinkle of salt. I think it's salt. Alright, a little sprinkle of salt in there. All right, back up just a little bit, kind of close. Alright, so we're going to stir this all up. And we're just going to wait for it to start to bubble. Now, Charlie, you can get the rice over there. We have three cups of rice to serve this on top of, and like Lily and Charlie suggested, we're probably going to steam some peas and it looks, carrots. It looks like onion, chicken, leaves. All right, we'll come back and show yeah. you. We'll come back and show you how it looks in the end, and then we'll have the kids give a critique on how they like this. All right, we'll see you soon. And we've now simmered actually for 30 minutes instead of 20. You can get a good look. There's not a lot of juice left in there, just enough to keep a sauce going. So I'm going to turn this off. All right. Lily, can you back up, please? I'm going to... So we're back. We let the food simmer for about 30 minutes instead of 20. You come and take a look at what we have. You can see the sauce is still there. I didn't quite simmer so much as to where all the sauce was cooked out. Lots of flavor, lots of good smells going on right now. So we're going to take this and we're going to add it to the brown rice. Um, we'll go ahead and... This. Here's our plate that we have prepared. This should serve four. We've added a side of broccoli. We put some cheese on top. Um, we love cheese in this family. Cheese, always remember, has high saturated fat and sodium. So we really haven't eaten a lot of cheese today, so we're having our cheese serving in our, on top of our broccoli. It's really high in calcium and protein. You see we have our brown rice. All right, good job, Char. Now we're going to slowly add our jackfruit and sauce topping. We will be removing those bay leaves. Lillian, please stop putting your hand in front of the camera. Lily, how does this smell? Mm, smells pretty good. No. Lillian said it does not smell good. Hopefully, if we have them taste the food, they'll be food critics, and we'll get to hear how they feel about the food. All right, so how does that look so far? 
It looks pretty. Pretty good? Pretty. Uh, Appetizing? Chickeny. It looks pretty chickeny? All right, yeah. so we're going to go s eat, and then we're going to have each of the kids and myself and dad give their critique on the food. All right, see you soon. Okay, so we've now completely finished our dinner, and we're going to go around the table and do family critique of the vegetarian meal that we just ate with the jackfruit, vegetables, and rice. For me, I'll begin. I felt like the replacement was awesome. The texture really did kind of trick my brain and mouth into thinking I was eating possibly some kind of lightly meat. Um, the flavors I felt could have probably been a little bit more intensified since the fat and the uh, red meat was not in there to add and contribute to the browning effect and the flavor. I felt like uh, next time I make it, I'd want to add a lot more seasonings to it, an experiment, maybe put some garlic in there, some cumin, maybe try an Asian style and add a few Asian vegetables in there. So that's my food critique overall. I give it an eight. All right, now we're going to see what Charlie says. Well, I think it could use a bit more spices. Overall, it was pretty good, but I I didn't really like the meat. It was like... There's no meat. But you mean the jackfruit. I, I didn't really like the fruit <laughs> that looks like meat <laughs> because like it felt like I was not like really eating anything and it looked kind of like fish and I don't really like fish. Um, and I think it could use a little bit more spices. Overall, how much did you eat? I ate the whole thing, but that's only because Score! that's only because I put ketchup in it, and I like <laughs> ketchup with broccoli, and I liked it with awesome. that. Awesome. All I, right, what I, do you score on a scale of one to ten? Well, a seven. A seven, not bad, not bad. All right, and Dad, <laughs> the meat lover. Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. Um, mm -hmm. Tasted like. Had a nice texture, firm texture, like a, a tasteless fish, sort of. So, I mean, overall, it was pretty good. I would say the flavor was pretty subtle, which I did not mind at all. I still put some sriracha on it because I wanted to play around with some more flavor, but I mean, it was good. Mm. I'd give it a seven, too. A seven. All right, now our most important food critic of all. Lily, who's still eating hers. How does it taste? Good. Um, yeah? I like the rice. You like the rice? Uh-huh. What'd you add to it? Ketchup. Yay! I like the ketchup. Uh, I don't like the chicken, but I put ketchup on the chicken, so I like it. But I like too much, so I spit the other one out. The other one was, like, too big. Oh. So, <laughs> I'm eating my, my other one. Looks like you ate a lot of food on your plate. You all look like you're almost done. And so you think it was chicken? And I'm full. Yeah, you ate a lot. Mom put a lot on your plate. All and right. I don't like the jackfruit. So on a scale from one to ten, what would you rate your meal? A six? A seven? <laughs> All right, until next time, everyone say bye! bye. <laughs>